spiritual warfare. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. We are invited today, brothers and sisters, in the face of this spiritual battle that we are all fighting to be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. The power of the Holy Spirit is at work in us and through us. As we yield to him, we can experience his power, his glory, his victory in our lives. The next verse, 6 verse 11 tells us, Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. St. Paul is inviting us and the Holy Spirit is reminding us to put on the whole armor of God, not pieces of the armor that we are not called to pick and choose, but we are supposed to stand clothed completely and totally from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet in heavenly armor. Then we will be able to resist the schemes of the devil. The devil has no power, but he has schemes. He's cunning, he's wily, and all we need to do is recognize how he works so that we can defeat him. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Verse 12 reminds us this, that our enemy is not this country or that country, these people or those people, but they are rulers, they are the authorities, they are cosmic powers over the present darkness. We wrestle against spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. This reminds us again that our enemy is a spiritual evil spirit. And we are called not to take things personally against this nation or that nation and be angry and bitter, filled with animosity against certain people and certain races. But we are called to recognize who the real enemy is, who is the devil, and fight with the spiritual weapons that the Holy Spirit equips us with. And this battle is taking place in the heavenly, in the heavenly realms. And Ephesians chapter 2 verse 6 tells us, God has raised us up with Christ and he seated us up in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. So we are well equipped to face the enemy and win because we are already seated in the heavenlies as more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. And verse 13 of Ephesians chapter 6 tells us, Therefore put on every piece of God's armor so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Yes, these are evil times. But if we put on every piece of the armor, we will be equipped, more than equipped, to fight this battle and still stand firm. That's what it says. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. And that is what we want to see. We want to see every one of us fighting this battle and winning in the Lord. Therefore, we can equip ourselves by standing in the name of Jesus. His name is what gives us strength. And therefore, as Paul reminds us in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 9 to, 12, 9 to 11, Therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every other name. And what we need to do is take that name, call in the name of Jesus, command in the name of Jesus. For every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Let us stand firm in his name and win this battle. God bless.